Hey there, this is Michael Reschke, one of the drum instructors here at Playground Music, and today I'm going to walk you through the assembly of a brand new Tama drum set. All right, when you start to assemble your drum set, the first thing to do is make sure you pull everything out of the boxes so you can account for everything so you don't end up losing anything. Be very careful when opening boxes with a knife to make sure you don't damage any of the materials that are inside. All right, the next thing we're going to assemble is the hi-hat stand. It comes in a couple different pieces, but make sure when you assemble it that you finger tighten the pull rod only so you do not damage the stand. Next is the drum throne. When you adjust this thing, make sure you loosen the memory collar with a drum key and get it to the general height that you are looking for. Make sure you tighten it very well, otherwise the seat will slide when you put weight upon it. Next is one of the cymbal stands. All you need to do here is just make sure you tighten the base part of it and then insert the other sections and then you loosen and raise and lower to taste. Next is the bass drum pedal. Here you're going to take the little ring at the top of the spring and you're going to attach it to the cam which is connected to the bass drum beater. Next is the snare stand. Take the top section of the stand, insert it into the bass, and you can do a basic adjustment here so that you can assemble the snare drum on the stand. And then next, you will install the snare and the little black ring. You turn that till it tightens up and grabs hold of the snare. Next is going to be the floor tom. This drum comes unassembled and you're going to take your drum key and loosen up a few of the tension rods so you can gain access to the rims. Next you will get the rest of the tension rods and then you will take the drum heads that came with the drum and you will put those on whichever side is needed. Make sure you put the thinner drum head on the bottom since there's two different types. You will then put the rim on it and then you will insert the tension rods and hand tighten each one going around in a circle. And then you do the same thing for the other side. Make sure, once again, that you hand tighten each tension rod. Once that is done, then you can do a general tightening just to take the wrinkles out of the drum head. Make sure with the bass drum that the side that has the logo is the side that the batter head or clear head is going to go on. This is the side where the bass drum pedal will attach. Also, with the rim, there's a little indentation where the bass drum pedal will go. Make sure that is at the bottom. Just like with the floor tom, you want to take all the tension rods and you want to attach them all finger tight. All the way around the drum. Once that's done, you can go around and you can tighten the head up a little bit to take the wrinkles out. You also do the same for the other side. Now this side has the logo. And same with the rim, you want to orient the bottom with the cutout. Attach all the tension rods, finger tight once again. Once that's done, you can go ahead and tighten this head up a little bit as well to take the wrinkles out. Alright, now we're going to put the drum set together so that you can play it. Place the bass drum and then you can place the tom mount. Make sure you orient the two arms so that you can place the two tom toms. Next, you mount each drum. Then you can bring out the floor tom, orient it on the right side, put the snare on the opposite side, bring out the hi-hat stand, the cymbal stands, and then you could place all the cymbals as well. Mm -hmm. 